Hello guys, once again it's time to get ready for a new trading week and to make some money. Today I want to talk about a few stocks that have sold way too aggressively during the last week's sell-off and could potentially offer a very nice, uh, nice opportunity to make some quick money, quick easy money to be to be told exactly. So before we dive in, if you enjoy watching my videos, show me some love down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a, leave a comment, like the video and let's get to it. The first stock that uh, I want to talk about is CGC, ticker symbol CGC, Canopy Growth. It's a cannabis, uh, cannabis company. Uh, just recently they have had their earnings release that propelled the, the stock to, to its all-time high of $56. And as we can see from the, from the chart, it has sold off massively down to $36 where it found its support and it's kind of gained a little bit on Friday. It went all the way to $38 and a little bit higher in the after hours. And that could be a sign that it found its support and it's ready to continue upward. Now, we don't know exactly if the sell-off from last week is finished or if, we are, or if we are going to see it continue into the next week. So, wait, uh, watch, watch what this stock will be doing. I anticipate that the market sell-off is over and that this will go back to its all-time highs. There is also, it also has another catalyst coming up uh, on Tuesday and that is Cohen analysts are going to be analyzing the possi what possibilities are there for the Biden administration, how it will proceed with, uh, legalize, with legalizing cannabis. If the report, the follow-up report to its, uh, to its investors will be positive, that could send a massive jolt into this industry and propelling this stock higher, meaning it could go very, very quickly back to its all-time high or even higher. So put it on your watch list, uh, maybe start a starter position on Monday, leave some money aside and see if it dips on Tuesday, buy the dip and watch for that support level at $36. If it breaks down below that level, we could see further pains in this stock. So those are the main things to watch. So the next, the next company is fuel cell. We have talked about this company previously when it was, uh, when it was around $17 and we said that it's going to $30 and that you should be watching what it will be doing around the $30 mark. Now, for all of you that have been following me since then, congratulations. You have made almost 100% gains. I hope you exited when it didn't break the, the $30 mark and you are now ready to re-enter into this position. It, uh, it has sold off. It was actually in the pre-market on Friday it, way, it went all the way down to $17 and that was an excellent price, uh, price to enter back into this stock. Now, if you didn't manage to get in at that price on Monday, you, I'm betting you will still have the possibility to catch it between $20 and $21. But if the market sell-off is to continue into next week, you could also get it as low as $17. Remember, it has very strong support there, so it shouldn't fall below that level. And it has also another catalyst this week. Plug Power is reporting its earnings on 
Thursday. If the earnings are positive and uh, it will propel plug power higher, Fuel cell will also receive sympathy play because earnings in the same industry can, can propel all the companies in the same industry higher. So watch out for what it will be doing in this in this week. It can go very quickly back to thirty dollars, and if plug powers. Uh, Earnings are, str are strong and provide positive guidance, forward guidance. This time it could break $30 on momentum. So, third company on our list is Yala. I have done uh, a video about them. It was one of my first videos that I have done uh, on this channel. They are a social platform focusing on uh, on basically on voice messages and games so you can play games uh, and send voice messages uh, to your friends while playing games and they're quickly gaining on facebook we have talked talked about them when they were uh, below 20 dollars they went all the way up to 40 dollars and i still have my price target of $100 for them till the end of the year. Now, they are just trading around $29 and could see quickly going back to their all-time high, all highs of $40 this week. So, if you want to enter into this company, you should be fast because in the last few weeks we have been we have been seeing massive jumps. It, it could go up any day 20 to 30 percent. It is showing that it is being followed by strong players and that they are buying massive amounts of shares. And the last company that is on, on our watch list is IDX, Ideonomics company. I have been in and out of this company since it was trading between $1 and $2 and they have been always providing good money plays for me. And just recently they have sold off more than 30% from, uh, from their highs of $5.50. They are now sitting at $3.90 and they could quickly quickly go back to five dollars and fifty cent giving us a quick 30 35 percent profits in the in the market for the, for those of you that don't know idx they are basically a holding company of various ev startups and they also own uh, a saloon for uh, for selling cars and buses and so on in China. Due to this, uh, due to the due to massive interest in the EV market, this uh, this company has great long-term potential. Because if any of those startups that they are invested in blows up, this company will see huge returns and also massive increase in stock price so thank you for watching me put these four stocks on your watch list enter into anyone that you feel strongly about and remember this is not financial advice it's for educational uh, for entertainment purposes only but leave me a comment down below what do you think about these companies which ones are you going to be investing in Bye.